sitting here having my coffee and writing in my journal and I realized that I've been feeling quite anxious and panicky over the last few days and as I was writing in my journal it just came to me that I've sort of gone out of my feminine energy and the really nice balance that I had established between my feminine and masculine and a little bit more of my feminine that I was falling more into my masculine energy with just certain things that I was doing on a daily basis and it was giving me anxiousness and making me really panicky and kind of angry and frustrated and I've been feeling this the last few days I didn't realize that this was happening but when I sat down to journal about it it just came to me so I wanted to make a little vlog for getting back into my femininity which I uh, tend to do um, whenever I feel like this and it tends to work so follow me along on my day today where I will be doing things that just align me back into my feminine energy and make me feel just more feminine and lighter and creative and happier and calmer, <laughs> which is so, so important. When I'm really feeling out of whack and so far away from my feminine energy, the first thing that I do is journal. I pull out my paper and pen and I start writing. What this has allowed me to do is understand what I'm feeling and what's happening in my life. It's almost like you're solving your own problems by writing them out. It just opens up the doors to your subconscious, I feel, and it brings out so many feelings and emotions. It helps you really dive deep into who you are. Journaling has allowed me to understand myself better. It also helps me to calm down and relax because it really relaxes my mind afterwards because I've written everything out. And I found that it actually really helps me build my intuition as well. Okay, so nothing better than getting into your feminine energy by wearing something that's a little bit more feminine. I put on this pink, the only pink thing I actually own. I wanted to wear a dress, but it's a bit cold. So I figured, let's just put this on. I did my hair, um, and now I'm just gonna do my makeup. I actually, I'm not even going anywhere today, but I just need this. What gets you more into your feminine energy than looking and feeling pretty and good? It's so funny because I put this sweatshirt on and I went downstairs real quick just to check on my husband and my daughter and see what they were doing. And it's Mother's Day weekend here. And so they had gotten me the cutest little pink stainless steel water bottle. And for me, it's so funny because I'm doing my feminine day today and they got me a pink water bottle. And I was like, it's a little wink from the universe. It's cool when that stuff happens. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup now and um, then I will head downstairs and I'll see what else I can do. Next up, I have a delicious lunch of truffle ravioli and some ghee and Parmesan cheese. Who doesn't love a delicious meal? I feel like really savoring it and really enjoying the flavors just helps me feel so in my body and so feminine. All right, so I've come outside for a bit. We're just in the back garden and I'm just sitting in the grass, breathing in the fresh air, just trying to be as present as possible while my daughter plays. And yeah, it's really nice to just be outside and not really have anything to do. So I'm just gonna focus now, being in the present, being my energy, connecting to the universe. <laughs> Then we came back inside and I just sat with my husband and while my daughter played behind me, I read my book. I do feel that there's no specific formula to really get into your feminine energy. It's more about how you feel doing certain things. So for some people, reading a book is not how they wanna get into their feminine energy. Maybe it's exercising or dancing. But for me, just relaxing and being present and really feeling into my body and reading spiritual books like this book I'm reading here is what allows me to feel into myself and just understand what I need at that time to help me feel more feminine. 
Whenever I read, my daughter also wants to read, which I absolutely love. So she grabbed her book and she came and sat next to me and we went through her alphabet book together and we just cuddled and talked and did the alphabets. After that, we headed to the kitchen and we started baking muffins. Baking and cooking are just so creative and very feminine in nature. And it's something that over the years I have started to really enjoy. And when I bake with my daughter, I just feel so good. I feel really present. I feel like I'm nourishing our home and our bodies. And it's just a really, really nice feeling. So the rest of the evening with my family watching some movies and having some good food and relaxing i think these days are so needed other than recording the videos for this on my phone i really tried to stay away from my phone as well i feel like social media can really just drive you crazy sometimes and i think that's really helped i feel i feel good <laughs> <laughs> 